Prince Andrew denied having sex with Virginia Jufri, who accused him of being one of Jeffrey Epstein's clients when she was 17. In a BBC interview, he said he had no memory of meeting her and that he was at a pizza party with his daughter on the night of the alleged encounter. He also said he did not sweat at the time because of a war injury and questioned the authenticity of a photo that showed him with his arm around Jufri. He admitted that staying at Epstein's mansion in 2010 was a mistake and that he failed to meet the royal standards. Hello and a very warm welcome to British Royal Gossip YouTube channel. I'd like to ask you a little favor, please if you have social media can you share my videos for me. I'd really appreciate it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so, it really does mean the world to me that you guys watch share and support me, it warms my heart and really does make me want to continue this weird mad journey that we're going on. Prince Andrew claimed he does not remember meeting the woman who alleged he had sex with her when she was 17 under the influence of financier Jeffrey Epstein. In a remarkable interview at Buckingham Palace with the BBC Newsnight show that was broadcasted on Saturday, the Queen Elizabeth II's third child said he had no memory of ever meeting this lady at all when questioned about Virginia Roberts, now Virginia Jufri. Andrew's intimate relationship with Epstein, a convicted sex offender who killed himself in a New York prison cell in August, has deeply shamed Britain's royal family. Until now, Andrew, the Duke of York, and the royal family have only briefly commented on the accusations in short statements from the palace. In the one-hour interview, the 59-year-old separated prince was asked politely but persistently on camera by reporter Emily Maitlis about a supposed sexual encounter with a teenager, how much he sweats, and how he could have spent four days at Epstein's New York City mansion after Epstein was found guilty of soliciting a minor. Andrew told the broadcaster that he did not meet the high standards of the royal family by staying at Epstein's mansion in New York City in 2010, when Epstein was already a registered sex offender. The senior royal's friendship with Epstein was brought back to attention this summer after court documents were revealed in a related libel case. In those documents, Jufri accused Andrew of having sex with her three times, in London, New York and the US Virgin Islands. She said she was paid by Epstein for those encounters. Jufri said that in 2001 in London, she ate with the prince, danced with him at the Tramp nightclub and had sex with him at the house of one of the prince's friends in the Belgravia area of London. I can absolutely firmly tell you it never happened, Andrew said. Andrew said there were a number of things that are incorrect with Jufri's story. He said that he had no memory of meeting her and that when she alleged they had sex, on March 10, 2001, he was at home after a pizza party. He remembered taking his daughter Beatrice to a Pizza Express, a restaurant chain, for a party that day. And then, because Beatrice's mother and his former wife, Sarah Ferguson, was away, he cared for the children. We have a simple rule in the family that when one is away the other one is there, he said. Jufri has provided details about their alleged encounter. She said that when they went dancing, the prince sweated heavily. But Andrew said that he was not able, at that time, to sweat. I didn't sweat at the time because I had suffered what I would describe as an overdose of adrenaline in the Falklands War when I was shot at, and I simply, it was almost impossible for me to sweat, he said. Jufri has also shown a photograph of the prince, smiling, with his arm around her bare waist. In the background is Ghislaine Maxwell, Epstein's former girlfriend who accuses Say acted as his facilitator, obtaining teens and young women to give massages to Epstein that became sexual. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Gossip YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when we drop a video, stay safe.